International Communications at DJI. I see quite a few familiar faces actually, so thank you for joining us. Um, I think uh, Papuko was talking about this earlier, but we've had quite a journey here in Indonesia. I remember we launched the Spark. Uh, I think after that we launched the NXT2 product from our Enterprise line, and then shortly thereafter we launched our Navic 2. So now we're back again, and we're so excited to bring our latest product to our customers here in Indonesia. So, when I talk about a Mavic for every user, for me, I use the Mavic Air. Uh, I've always brought it with me when I'm traveling, or even in Hong Kong when I'm hiking on the mountain, or when I visit home in the Philippines. And it's something that I find is the perfect marriage of performance and portability. Um, and I don't know about you guys, how many have flown a drone before? Like any drone. All right, I think this product that we're launching today is perfect for you. Um, so every time I fly a drone, someone comes up to me pretty consistently and says, you know, oh, uh, how are you doing that? Is it hard? And I say, hey, do you want to try that? Like, no, 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 I, I, I don't want I, I, My remote control, if I do something wrong, I'll crash your drone. And so we have a long conversation about, you know, the safety features that obviously... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I asked how many of you have flown a drone before, and I saw a couple hands come up. How many of you have drank a can of soda, like a can of Coke or a can of Sprite? Are we really that healthy? Come on, guys, let's be honest. How many? How about a, a tempo toll? How many of us have drank one of those? How about water? Do you guys drink at all? <laughs> all right, well, what if I told you that this drone is lighter than a can? In fact, Sally, would you mind? Can I get a volunteer, anyone? Would you like to try? <laughs> Which is heavier? This one, yeah. Anyone want to try? No? Okay. All right, so this is 249 grams, which if you remember what I was talking about earlier, with the Phantom, I mean, that thing really packs a lot. Pilots feel safer and, and you know, a lot more comfortable. We wanted to address it in under this 250 gram, which I think people who follow the drone industry very closely would be aware that 250 grams is something that aviation regulators and authorities have deemed to be the safest and lowest risk when it comes to having uh, robots like this in the sky. So it's not that, even if it's light, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have a lot of imaging quality. Because with the DJI Mavic Mini, you're able to shoot 12 megapixel photo. It actually has a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor, um, and you can shoot 2.7K with 30 frames per second. So I took this on, on my hike recently, and I honestly, the footage that I got, um, it, was, it was pretty spectacular. So later when we go on the experience zone, I highly recommend that you attach your phone and give it a spin. Now, when we look at the feedback that we get of our customers, right, especially people who are trying to drone for the first time, they're usually with friends or family. So people want to impress their friends and family. I think we can all agree with that. But when you're trying a drone for the first time, it's not so easy to get all the maneuvers in the sky very quickly. So we've brought four of our most popular quick shot features into this drone. This includes uh, Drony, Helix, Circle, and Rocket. So those of you who have flown a drone before will be familiar. It's actually in all of our, in most of our recent drones. Um, but more importantly, we've also introduced a brand new feature, which is for the Mavic Mini. So when you fly a drone for the first time, you'd probably be using position mode. So this is something that I would consider sort of like the standard. So when you're trying a drone, it's pretty much flying the way that it should be normally. If you're like me, <laughs> you want to have a little bit more of a thrill, I turn on sports mode, and that goes a lot faster. And it's also good when you're sort of high up in mountains and there's a bit of strong wind. Now, the new addition that we have in terms of a shooting mode is called Cine Smooth. And this is for people who want to be able to capture that, you know in the movies, when you're starting a scene and you're capturing this beautiful landscape and it's moving really slowly, well, that plus the three axis gimbal on this drone will really get you that shot. And honestly, every person who can fly this drone can get that shot very easily. The small category, it was a lot more accessible. Um, well, the DJI Mavic Mini is actually even smaller and lighter than the DJI Spark, but it has twice the flight time. So the Spark has 15 minutes, 
Well, this little guy has 30 minutes of flight time. So when you have a combo, you got an hour and a half. Yeah, of flight time, thank you. And I really want to spend a little bit of time on that because if you consider the evolution or at least the innovation of this technology, you started with maybe 15 to 20 flight times a few years ago, and that, that was a much bigger platform. So now you're looking at something so light, lighter than a can of soda, with 30 minutes of flight time. I think that's quite spectacular, and so we're really excited to give that experience to our users. Um, so how about the distance, right? So uh, a lot of you um, were always, uh, I think people who have come to launch events before at DJI were always very cautious. We tell people that no matter where you're flying, you should always be aware of local regulations, and you must always keep yourself equipped with the right information before you take off. Now, when it comes to distance, this, uh, so this drone flies via Wi-Fi, and the distance of transmission range can go up to four kilometers. Um, I actually, I, I tried close to it when I went on a hike uh, last weekend, and the connection is really strong. So it's not about how far a drone can go, but how strong you can maintain the connection between your drone and your remote controller. Especially for this drone, you know, if you're flying it around busy areas, you want to make sure as a first-time pilot that you feel secure and comfortable in what you're in what you're trying to achieve. Um, and finally, when it comes to the drone, uh, we also equipped it with advanced downward-facing sensors. So I don't know how many of you are familiar um, with our sensor technology, but when you're flying indoors and you're not connected to GPS or you have a weak GPS signal, the downward-facing sensors actually helps the drone land safer because it knows how much distance there is between the drone and the ground. This helps people, fly, especially when you're flying this drone later, you'll see that at a touch of a button, you can actually auto-land. So that, that helps the drone make smarter decisions. Um, when you're outdoors, you have GPS precision hovering. So any DJI fan who's gone on YouTube and searched, you know, old Phantom videos, I think you have that video where the Phantom is just hovering and someone is kind of pulling it to the side and it goes back into place. I mean, that's really one of the key things that made DJI um, the leader that it is today. The stability and the reliability of the drone um, that we create is, is really something that is, is quite leading in the industry. Um, and finally, when we talk about developing a drone for people who are first timers, it's great that we have all of these features embedded, but sometimes the physical awareness of having an, an actual cage around the propellers, especially when you're flying indoors, it helps. And in a second, I'll show you what that looks like. Now, when we launched the Mavic Mini, we didn't just launch a new drone. We actually launched a new flight app as well, and it's called DJI Fly. And the reason for that is, I told you, when we want to address this new market, we didn't just want to think about it from a hardware perspective, right? Like, we have a light drone, it has great features, great. But the software aspect as well. So if you fly on a DJI Go or go for a flight control app on your phone, um, it has a lot of functionality, a lot of features. The DJI Fly app brings that to a very minimalist version so that people who are using drones for the first time will be able to follow a very simple tutorial, right? Learn uh, safety tips and get a better sense of what geofencing means or how you return a drone home automatically if you're fearing of it not coming back. And importantly, it's not just about shooting footage, it's about the content that you wanna share. And in the DJI Fly app, we've introduced creator templates which enables you to capture footage when you're out and then be able to, within minutes, edit and post it on your social media at complete ease. So this means that even if you're out on a beach somewhere, you're able to share where you are and what you're doing with your people like family at home or your friends back in the city um, at great ease. And um, the one thing that I've been talking a lot about today is safety. So of course, if we're making this drone more accessible to everybody, we want to make sure they're equipped with the right information. And so tutorials and safety tips and local regulations, I mean, these are things that you can access from your smartphone when you're operating the drone and the app. Okay. Easy. There we go. That's it? Yeah. What about the front? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So, see? Actually, give me one second. There's something wrong.
because the cover of the gimbal oh, wasn't. Oh, that's right. Where is it? Probably inside. Yeah. I'm trying to cover the propeller holders. Where did it go? Yeah. Oh, how's that? I'm doing it, Joy. Start this from scratch. Okay. Do you actually? All accessories already sold. All the what? All the when accessories we, when... already sold? Yeah. No, I mean. Stop. Oh, already stocked? Oh, yeah, you should ask Sam Coco. <laughs> if we so buy I believe cop... that's how you cover it. Just only yeah, one. Yeah. This one? You know, no. Do you cover both of it at the same time? No, no, no. It's just only one. Right? Just only one. Oh, oh, oh. This only two color. Oh, okay. So you use one. Yeah, it's oh. oh, okay. Yeah. That's so great. I usually carry it on um, one of those little um, holders. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen the bag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's usually what I bring. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I think some of my colleagues prefer this because it's a lot easier for you. So you put your Osmo Pocket here, and then over here you put your drone, and it's that much more portable. Like that. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then of course, indoors here inside, you put all your other stuff like your charging, charging hub. You have like nice little sockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like super easy. And then of course, you guys are familiar with the Osmo Pocket as well. Yes, yeah. So it's like the perfect place to, to store it. Yeah, let's put this here. All right. Okay. I hope Thank that was you. Helpful. Have you guys seen this one? Not yet. So have you? So okay. No, so someone said like, this is digital or. What is it? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I put it there. <laughs> Haven't slept much, guys. <laughs> Anyone proposing soon? <laughs> Anyone getting engaged? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Probably him Shall for the second. Good, shall we give you a good, um, a good example? <laughs> <That's> a good idea. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> how about you guys take how about you? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then so you have like these little uh like, yeah, you have these little like markers so you can put oh. stuff like oh. I don't have very good writing. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what you wanna be able to do is have it um attach. Can I, can I do it for you? Yeah. There we go. So we can put some action cam too over there, right? <laughs> no? Not quite, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> so you could like flip it over here or flip it like this, up to you. All right. Or if you like Legos, you can also put that in here Legos. and like put cute little figurines on top. <laughs> so maybe in the future we'll have more, we don't know. But for now, we just thought it's something really creative and fun to give to our users. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anybody want to try? <laughs> I think you should go fly. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Which one? 